Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, in this, we'll talk about how can I work in Canada without an Elmaya. Are you dreaming of working in the vibrant landscape of Canada, but wondering how to navigate the complexities of obtaining a work permit without the often required labor market impact assessment, MIA? Well, you're in the right place. In this exploration, we delve into the diverse avenues that allow individuals to work in Canada, showcasing the paths that bypass the LAMIA requirement. From intra-company transfers to international agreements and specialized programs, this guide unfolds the opportunities that make your Canadian work aspirations a reality. So, to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end. Please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. How can I work in Canada without an ELMIA? The Labor Market Impact Assessment, ULMIA, serves as a crucial tool in ensuring that the employment of foreign workers in Canada aligns with the nation's economic interests, especially within the Canadian labor force. Work permits necessitating an ELMIA are categorized under the Temporary Foreign Worker Program, TFUP. However, Canada also provides avenues for certain foreign workers to enter the country without the need for an ELMIA, falling under the International Mobility Program, IMP. The IMP aims to advance Canada's economic, social, and cultural objectives. Numerous ELMIA, exempt streams are encompassed within the IMP and they can be broadly classified into categories such as significant benefit, reciprocal employment, charitable and religious workers. Significant benefit. Under this category, the proposed work of the foreign national should be deemed beneficial to Canada with an emphasis on importance or notability. Visa officers exercise flexibility in determining eligibility considering various objective measures indicating a significant social or cultural benefit. These measures include academic achievements, employment experiences, awards, patents, organizational memberships, and recognition of contributions to the field. Some ELMIA exempt work permit programs under this category include entrepreneurs or self-employed persons, entrepreneurs or self-employed individuals aiming to establish or manage a business in Canada may qualify for an ELMIA exemption. Applicants must be sole or majority owners of the business and demonstrate that the business will bring significant benefits to Canada. It's crucial to note that eligibility for this work permit is contingent on the temporary nature of their work in Canada. The Cohen Immigration Law Firm offers a free work permit consultation to provide comprehensive guidance on the various pathways available, including ELMIA exemptions. Intra, Company Transferees, ICT. For foreign businesses with a presence in Canada, the Intra Company Transferee, ICT, program provides a strategic avenue to bring key personnel into the country. Eligible applicants include executives, senior managers, functional managers, or employees with specialized knowledge of the enterprise's products, services, processes, and procedures. CUSMA, Canada, United States, Mexico Agreement. Canada, United States, Mexico Agreement facilitates streamlined work permits for citizens of the United States and Mexico without the need for a labor market impact assessment. LIA, four categories, cover temporary work. Canada, United States, Mexico Agreement Professionals, individuals qualifying for approximately 60 targeted professions. Canada, United States, Mexico Agreement Intra-Company Transfers, workers relocating to Canada for their U.S. or Mexican employer's branch, subsidiary or affiliate meeting ICT requirements. Canada, United States, Mexico Agreement Traders, workers engaged in the trade of goods or services between Canada and their home country, U.S. or Mexico. Canada, United States, Mexico Agreement Investors, 
investors with a substantial stake in a new or existing Canadian business, coming to Canada for business development and direction. CETA, Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement. Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement opens avenues for various professionals, including business visitors, investors, intra-company transferees, service providers, and independent professionals to work in Canada without an Elmia. TV and Film Production Workers The TV and film production industry can bring essential workers to Canada without an Elmia, provided they can demonstrate the critical nature of the work to be performed. Reciprocal Employment Reciprocal employment agreements enable foreign workers to contribute to the Canadian workforce when Canadians have corresponding opportunities abroad. This can take the form of International Agreements Foreign workers contributing significantly to Canada International Exchange Programs Programs facilitating international youth to work in Canada Charitable and Religious Work Charitable Worker Organizations focused on poverty relief, education, or other community benefits. Whether registered with the Canada Revenue Agency, raw or not, may employ foreign workers. Religious workers. Foreign nationals sharing the religious beliefs of a specific religious community can work in Canada. Primary duties revolve around religious objectives, such as instruction or promotion of a particular religion or faith. This video overview emphasizes the diverse pathways available for foreign workers, showcasing Canada's commitment to facilitating skilled and specialized talent migration while promoting cultural exchange and economic growth. That is all for today in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later in the next episode. Till then, take care.